Hi everyone, so this has been another highly requested video on my Instagram. I'm not going to do a long intro, I'm just going to get straight into it. So if you want to know how I got this look, thank you for watching. Right, first of all, I'm going to start off by priming my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. If you can hear a little girl singing, it's my niece. I'm just going to like... I'm gonna get my hair out my face because I literally can't do my makeup if it's just there. Right, I'm gonna start off with my MAC 224 brush and use Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC 217, I think it's 217, it's rubbed off but I'm sure it's 217. And then I'm going to use this colour by MAC, I'm not sure what it's called, Embark, and put it like directly in my crease. This doesn't have to be really neat because this colour is going to go on the eyelid anyway but just want to make sure that the colour's like there in the crease. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Kisses. <laughs> that was good. Good. <laughs> then I'm going to get a flat brush. I'm not sure what the make is. It's just a random flat brush. It's not anything special. But um, I'm going to then pack the same colour in bark on my lid. <laughs> and blend it. Then I'm going to go back in with Swiss chocolate and then go in my crease and blend it out again. Right, and then I'm going to use my Urban Decay 2 palette and use Blackout, which is the darkest colour, it's just a matte black, you can use any matte black. You don't want to put a lot on the brush, just put a little bit and then if you feel like you need more, then just work it in more, like, put, get more colour and then go back in. But with black, the key is to, like, start off with minimum and then build it up. Anyway, this is going to go in my crease, like, directly in the crease. Come in. Yes. Thank you. She's doing the video. Mmm. Some lashes on these are red cherry lashes um i've used these already so probably won't be able to see them that well they look like that but i cut them a bit these are the wispy ones i'm personally not going to put a liquid eyeliner on or any sort of eyeliner on for this because um i just think it looks better without With this look, you want to try and get the eyelashes as close to the lash line as possible. Because I know when we wear liquid eyeliner, we can just cheat, but with this, we can't because there's no eyeliner. Then I just tend to like pinch it down. Right, today I'm going to mix Max Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC45, and I'm going to mix. I know this is really dirty, it's just 
disgusting, I'm sorry, but Mac Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. Bear in mind that my face is a lot lighter than my body, so if it looks weird at first, don't don't shed a tear because it'll be fixed. Here's my Real Techniques Roughing Brush to buff it all in lovely. I've got a um, a foundation full face routine that I do, so I will link that because. From now, I'm probably going to fast forward it. And then I'm going to use um, my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in Caramel and put that all under the eye basically. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, blending sponge thingy, my bob. I've damp, I've made it damp, so that's why it's um, so big. Jessica, stop texting my phone, darling. I'm filming, and you know it, darling. I'm going to put a bit on my nose and just, just, just everywhere. <laughs> really, bitch. Jess! Oh my god! Oh, this girl is taking the piss. Right. <laughs> she, she can't be serious. <laughs> Does the, she's not even texting me for anything serious. That's the worst thing. She's just being annoying. Anyway, right, and then I'm going to use some of my, mom, my mom's Max Studio Fix Fluid in NW50. Um, I'm going to use this for a bit of contour. She doesn't know that I've been stealing her foundation, but she will watch this video and she is about to find out. I'm going to use my Body Shop uh, Brush and Brush. I randomly got this, like a little goodie bag thing. And it's quite a nice brush, actually. So I'm just gonna... Put it in. I'm not gonna like put it everywhere and then blend it because this foundation is, you know, it, it dries quickly. And I'm going to use my foundation brush again and sort of just, just blend it, honey. Blending is the key to life. Then I'm going to use my contour brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to use my Benai banana powder and set my under eyes with it. Use my Real Techniques cheek brush and use my MAC matte bronzer and just go like over where I put the um, darker foundation. I'm going to put on a bit of blusher today. I don't normally wear blusher, but I shall today. I'm going to use Max Peaches. I think. Yes, I'm going to use it. Just going to use my Elf Stippling brush. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it's there. Right, then I'm going to use my Mac Luster Drop. Use my same foundation brush to blend it in. This probably won't pick up on camera, but it, I love this highlight. It's literally like my favorite thing ever. Because I want to be a bit more glowy, I'm going to use my Ila Mascara highlighter. This is called Powdered Metal. I got this ages ago. But I'm going to use this with just a fan brush. I'm going 
put it where I put the other highlighter. I'm just doing the cheek bones. Right, then I'm gonna finish with the eyes because eyes are not done yet. I'm gonna go in with the same Imbark colour and put it on the bottom lash line. I'm doing this with my 217 brush by MAC. Then I'm going to use some mascara. This one is by The Body Shop. I might use some white eyeliner. I'm going to use a white eyeliner. This one's by MAC. It's called. It's rubbed off. I don't know what it's called, but. Um... It's just a white eyeliner bag. I feel like a little dolly. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off by using my favorite nude lipstick in the whole entire world by um, Rimmel. This is called Nude Delight, number 700. That's the wrong one. Mine's nearly gone. I gotta get a new one. I'd recommend wearing a nude or like a pinky sort of colour just because the eyes are a bit like. I like pink by the way. Because the eyes are a bit. just in your face. Then I'm gonna use a MAC lip gloss um, called Wildly Lush. This is basically the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more requests, then put them down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!